Okay, welcome to another tutorial, and today we'll be looking at dividing by zero and why you can't divide by zero. Um, I'm just going to write that up here. Dividing by zero. Um, divide, dividing, not for divide end, <laughs> uh, by zero. Okay, so. Now, when I was in school, uh, I remember the teacher telling us not to divide by zero. I mean, most of my math teachers always said, don't divide by zero. Um, for example, don't do this, or don't do this. That is very bad. Oop, I wanted to use red here. Yeah, that is bad. And it makes teachers sad. So. We don't want to divide by zero. But the question I had was why not? And um, and my teacher would, I, I remember the one time I asked it, the teacher said, uh, you can't divide by zero because then your calculator gives you an error. <laughs> so, I mean, that is true. It will do that. But, I mean, it's not like we're really interested in um, how calculators feel and preventing calculators from getting errors, although that's cool. But... Um, what I'd like to do is explain to you why we can't divide by zero, or at least one simple explanation. So you can now you will know why, and uh, it's more specific than just because the calculator gives you an error. Although it will do that if you divide by zero on a calculator. But let's just look at, for example, when we divide things. Um, whoops. Okay, when we divide, for example, four divided by two. Or that could look like this. Alright. And if you've ever worked with long division, the way you would set this up to actually solve it would be like this. Uh, you would say 4 and 2 there. So this is like your little division house. And uh, the 4 goes inside the house, and the 2 goes on the outside. And then the way we would solve this is we figure out how many times does 2 go into 4, which is. 2, it's pretty obvious, 2 times 2 is 4, we subtract those, and that gives us a remainder of 0, so then we can stop because there's nothing left over. So what that means is 2 goes into 4 twice, so 2 goes into 4 twice. Now if you look, I'll uh, just get another color here, let's try orange, why not? This 2 right here is the initial one, that's that guy, the 4 here is this 4, and then if I were to go ahead and complete this over here, because we found the answer was 2, that equals 2, then that 2 as the answer goes right there. So notice, 2 uh, goes into 4 twice, 4 divided by 2 is 2, and 2 times 2 is 4. So those are all the different ways you can look at this. Now, here's how I explain why we can't do, for example, I'll use yellow, why we can't do this. Why this logically doesn't make sense. 4 divided by 0 or 4 divided by 0. What does that equal? That's the question. Does it equal anything? Uh, on the calculator, if you plug it in, it'll tell you it equals error. But I'll show you why that is the case. So I guess I'll use light blue again. And I'll start with, remember, the number here, 4, went inside the little house, the division house, if you want to call it that. All right. And the zero goes on the outside. Okay. Now, just like before, we want to find how many times does zero go into four. Well, you might be inclined to think, well, it goes into it zero times, or it goes into it one time, or a million times, or however many times you want. Let's just look at the case where it equals zero. Let's say zero goes into four zero times. Now, according to our logic over here, two times two was four. But is zero times zero four? No, it's not. And uh, in fact, no matter what we put there, oops, let me go over here. No matter what we put there, one times zero? No. And uh if we put uh one thousand times zero oops times zero that's not 4 either. So no matter what we put there, I mean you can try this if you really want, no matter what we put there, we're not going to get 
something that makes sense. So in other words, that is one explanation why four you can't divide four by zero because this number that goes here, there's nothing that makes sense there. So the answer, in terms of remember the answer here, is what we put for two there. So the answer that makes sense would go as what this equals. But as you can see, none of these answers make sense, no matter what we put. And you can try it off. If we put a negative number, it still won't make sense, no matter what you put. So that's why there's a question here, and that's why the, car the uh, calculator would give you an error. Because the calculator is a machine, and it likes to give you an exact answer, or as close to exact as its design allows it, um, for the, for the uh, numbers that you type in, for the operation that you type in. But since the calculator doesn't know what to choose here, it just tells you error. So that doesn't make sense to me. It doesn't compute. So that's your basic explanation of why you can't divide by zero from a practical perspective, from a logical perspective. Um, there are probably much more rigorous mathematical definitions, but that's the one I'm aware of. And I think it makes sense at a basic level, and pretty much anyone can understand that. Um, so yeah, enjoy that, and now you can show your teachers why uh, you cannot divide by zero.